Hey everyone, this is Matt J. Doyle here with TAP Interviews and Team Easy Way. I'm here today with the amazing John Michael Ferrari. John, welcome to TAP Interviews. Hey Matt, how are you? Thanks for having me on your show. You are very welcome, John. So I'm sure we're all excited to hear more about the single My, ha My Heart Can't Breathe. Could you tell us a little bit about how you came to the lyrics of this song or the yeah, idea of this song? Yeah. See, isn't that amazing, uh, all the coverage and, uh, and uh, the charts that the songs have been getting on? It's been amazing because each week, you know, uh, Pepper checks the charts and, and we start off at the very bottom, you know, because, you know, sometimes they have the top 200, the top 100, uh, the top uh, 50, you know, and when it comes out, usually on the first week, we're at the very bottom. How did you come to that? You know, and each week it, it kind of moves up, moves up. So we're very fortunate about the, about having the song out there. Okay, and I would like to know where is it on the charts right now? Where is it on the charts? Well, let's see. It, it's moving up one top 40. It's gone from 39 to, I think it's it, gone up to 31 on one chart. It's 31. The national is, chart. And then it just, just got on the radio a couple yeah, of Yeah, just, ago. but uh, with this one, it's actually on many charts. It's even on the top 40 chart. And I think the most exciting thing is, you know, I always ask, who's next to me? I want to know who's above me, who's below me. And, mm. And sometimes I'm uh, close to Lady Annabella or uh, uh, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is always higher than I am, but uh, <laughs> it's um, it's nice to see the other well-known names. And then there's my name uh, kind of in the mix right there. So it's really exciting to to be able to see that each week that uh, I'm uh, somewhere up there. But the, yeah, ins see. the inspiration of the song, you know. A lot of songs are inspired by real life incidents. And uh, one day, I, I think Pepper was uh, showing me some old photographs of uh, some people that used to be in our lives. And she kind of flipped open the picture and said, oh, remember this one. And there was a picture of, of me and a young girl who used to be in our lives. And she was just very dear to us. And when I saw that picture, it just kind of, put a dagger in my heart because she wasn't any no longer in our life like we wanted her to be and that's where that song emanated from it was just that moment of seeing that picture and how unexpected um everything came to an end and we didn't know about it and that's what the song's about you know uh my heart can't breathe everybody's had that you know at some point in their life where uh, they lose somebody or somebody, something happens and they, it hurts so much. It just hurts your heart and it's difficult to breathe. And that's, most of my songs are very positive love songs, but this was kind of a hurt song, like how it affected me. Yeah, I think people can relate to it. Like you said, most people have been through something like that. And when I wrote the song, you know, it really, uh, it, I was just sitting in the studio looking outside the door after I saw the picture and the words just kind of came to me. It, it didn't take a lot. It, it just kind of flew out, out of me. And I just wrote them down as fast as I could. And at first it didn't make sense, you know, uh, I'll do my laundry in privacy, you know, <laughs> it's like, and, but um, then I played for Pepper. She goes, Oh, that's clever. You know, you know, because it has a double meaning, you know, uh, you know, we it's like, don't air your laundry in public, you know, well, don't do your laundry in, in public like that. So we went along with it and um, and the melody. And and then when we went to Nashville last week, last year, last July, last July we recorded that song along with uh, six other, five other songs. We didn't know which one was gonna, we were going to put out there. And um, we submitted it to our radio promoter and he go, oh, he said, this is a really good song. Let's push this one, see what it does. Because you never know. I mean, when you have a radio promoter and, and, you, and they have the songs, it's not guaranteed that the radio stations are going to pick it up, play it, or you'll even get on the charts. So you really, you don't know. 
So we put that one out there and we were very fortunate because this is the seventh song, I think, that we have out there. And uh, six of them have been on the chart so far. Yes, we've had eight songs from the last album, Be the Smile on Your Face, that went on the radio and six got on charts. And then this is the first song from the next album. And it's already on one, two, three, four. Yeah, this times. is for the, actually, this song uh, is part of the next album. We haven't even finished recording, which we're going to Nashville in a couple of weeks to continue finishing the recording of uh, six more songs, and that's going to be the new album. And the, the title of it, the album is My Heart Can't Breathe. Let's take a listen. Great. Well, without further ado, I would like to play the video of the song. Okay. And I will, I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay. It was made by Paul Loggins, Loggins of Privilege. How does that sound, guys? Great. Good. I'll never be an almost over you. A place to go where the light shines through. The problem was from the very start. I was gonna love you with all my heart. But it's too late, too late for me. I do my laundry in privacy. But it's too late. Too late for me. My pride won't hurt me because my heart can't breathe. It's too late, too late. There'll never be a set of words. Help me understand why it's gonna hurt. A single sigh is less than two. Me standing here. Without you, but it's too late, too late for me. I'll do my laundry in privacy, but it's too late, too late for me. My pride won't hurt me because my heart can't breathe. It's too late, too late. Your picture in a photograph. I was there when you made me laugh, but it's too late, too late for me. You should have warned me of your strategy. It's too late, too late. It's too late, too late for me. I'll do my laundry in privacy, but it's too late, too late for me. My pride won't hurt me because my heart can't breathe. It's too late, too late. My heart can't breathe. It's too late, too late. My heart can't breathe. All right, awesome tune. My God, that sounded awesome. My heart can't breathe. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. You have a great voice, John. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it, it's uh, an exciting venture to to go to Nashville and record these songs. You know, because when I write them. I sit down with the guitar and Pepper and I go through the, the lyrics and everything and um, we make changes and then I make an arrangement. I have a studio here and I do a, an arrangement of the song and we listen to it so we get an idea of what we want and we take that arrangement to Nashville and play it for the musical director and they make suggestions and then they write out the music charts and then we give it to the musicians and they add their... Uh, take on, on what they th think the song should be. Uh, so it's a mixture of what we put together and with the Nashville musicians, what they add to it. It's a magical thing, how it all happens. But, you know, if you, you want to be in this business, 
you, you gotta, you want to record, you, you gotta go to LA, you gotta go to Nashville, you gotta, you know, major studios, but you gotta find the right people. We, we recorded this at Beard Studios and they are so good. They're the, uh, the studios, the, the, uh, the engineers, the musicians, I mean, they're the best that you can find. And so it's a combination of all that stuff together. Oh, awesome insight, John. Thanks for that. Well, I just want to move along now and uh, share some more stuff with the uh, people that are watching. Hi to everybody watching. Thank you for watching. And to those that watch a video later, hope you enjoy it. Just wanted to quickly show the audience uh, your website. And here it is. There it is there. John Michael Ferrari. Some great pictures on there. Yeah, those were taken in Nashville when we were there performing. Yeah, they're uh, they're very professional. And then we have the about. It looks like an interesting picture. <laughs> that's our, that's our teepee on our ranch. Oh, okay, great. And that's Pepper's old truck with her cat watching over. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they can contact you here as well. And I just want to go to the gallery. Yeah, those were all taken in Nashville. Yeah, and then uh, what was the photographer's name? Jeff Foscano. Jeff Foscano. And of course, we have all your social media sites on there as well. And this is just JohnMichaelFerrari.com is the website. Yeah, you know, people if they're songwriters themselves and they you know want some insight or information, they always contact us and talk to me and talk to Pepper, you know, it's difficult to navigate your way through the music industry. I've been uh, doing music my whole life, ever since I was in high school. And I've been in bands, uh, rock and roll bands. I've been playing guitar in small little clubs. And a few years ago, you know, Pepper said to me, she said, why don't you do your own songs? And I, I thought about it, you know, because I'd written some songs. But it wasn't until actually we got ready to move out of L.A. that I started to really dive into my own songs. And I think that's the real key. If you're going to be in this business, um, you have to have your own original songs. Do your own songs. Um, because you get, I don't know what she keeps, what, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, but she, uh, you have to do your own songs because that's how you get the opportunity to get on the charts because you're never going to get on the charts doing other people's songs very rarely, but at least if you do your own songs or you have a, a right co-write with somebody else, uh, you have that opportunity. Had we not ever written our, uh, did our own songs, we wouldn't have the success we're having right now. So that'd be my suggestion to any of the uh, singers out there, songwriters, get together with somebody, write your own material and then go to a studio. I know a lot of people have their own home studios and you can do a lot there, but you can't match what, what uh, the studios in Nashville or the studios in LA, what they do. I mean, they really take it up to a, a higher notch. That's what you have to do. Well, thank you for all that info, John. I'm sure the audience really appreciates it. And again, it's such a wonderful tune and Look how you've what you've evolved evolved into it now. It's just amazing, you know, coming out with tunes like that and songs like that. So congratulations. Well, you know, it started uh, a, year, a little over a year ago. I think uh, we first got our first award from Al Bowman, which was which, uh, part of the LA Music Awards. And years ago, we used to attend the Music Awards. We used to cover it, you know, as a news organization. And Pepper said to me, she said, "One day you'll be walking the red carpet, the LA Music Awards." And I. I didn't think much of it, and then it came to pass. You know, it happened. We started getting these awards for the songs, and it's really been a thrill to have this opportunity. Yeah, congratulations once again. Well, let's move along a little bit now, and I want to quickly show the people watching your wonderful Facebook page. And there it is there, John Michael Ferrari, singer, songwriter. And we can see that you've shared the poster for this particular episode and the blog. So thank you very much for that. And we see 
the post about your article in Indie Magazine, the lyric video, the video with lyrics, and uh, <laughs> how it's doing on the charts. So it looks like a, you're very active on that page, John. Well, Pepper makes that happen. You know, I'm, I'm the artist. I mean, I can, I sit, write the songs, and I do the creative part, but that's just half of it. You know, you, you need somebody to do the business part, and, and that's Pepper. She's all day uh, contacting people, talking with people, uh, interacting with our uh, radio promoter, uh, Loggins, which is for Paul Loggins, out of, out of Nashville. You know, it takes people. It, it takes a combination of people. As an artist, if I just stayed in my room and did music all day, it wouldn't happen. You have to have somebody that to promote, to promote it, get it out there, uh, and talk to people, social network. It takes a lot of work, and, and especially with the, the pages, the Facebook pages. It doesn't happen on its own. <laughs> no, that's for sure. It's amazing what you're doing, John. I'm such a big fan of yours. I love the tune of the latest single, My Heart Can't Breathe. I want to look into more of your stuff that you've done. I'm looking forward to the album coming out. I'm sure you and Pepper are as well. And I just wanted to mention to our sponsors, easywaynetwork.com and easywayevents.com and easywaymobile.com. Mr. Eric Zuli, thank you for sponsoring this show and uh, putting your our footage on your network. So let's talking about Easyway, I just wanted to show them your easy way wall of fame and you can get your own profile for free and then you can upgrade if you need to. And I'm just going to share that with you, with you now. That's uh, John's wall of fame on easy way wall of fame. That's his profile, I should say. And he has a little bit about him, has his picture and all his info and you know, it's very interesting. So thank you to Eric Zoli for allowing us to have a profile on there. And I suggest yeah. that you get, I suggest that you get on there if you can. So that's that. And then I'll just quickly show you guys my wall of fame pro profile as well. There it is, as the yeah. golden video. So yeah, you can get on there and network with people such as John and myself to advance your careers. And then finally, I just wanna share the blog before we go on. And this was the blog written about this particular episode you can see john on there now this is a blog on my uh, google blogger and you can fill out the form to find out more info from us and then you just uh, go down to create a profile for free on this blog so just go to mr matt j doyle dot blogspot dot com go to john's blog read all about him visit his sites and visit and get your own profile as well yeah, so, yeah, just talking now, going back to the album, what, is, what kind of music can we expect in the other songs, John? Well, our last one was kind of a country crossover. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more pop. Um, a little bit more pop? Yeah, like, uh, like that one, don't you think? It's more, more of a pop, and it's the same, which is amazing because the same musicians, basically, but it just depends on whether they bring in the slide guitar or they leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because on some of the arrangements, it's surprisingly, uh, we have two different versions of the song. One of them has a slide guitar in it. Uh, the other a version that doesn't have the slide guitar. And that one is played more on a pop station. The other one is played more on a country station. Um, so that's interesting how that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be more pop, I think. Um, it's going to be interesting because I, I, a couple of the songs like Bad Dream. Now, now I don't know what that is. I, I don't know if it's going to be pop or country or, 
If it's a uh, rock, you know, just rock and roll. But a lot of it will depend. I have an arrangement of it, but a lot of it will depend on what the musicians want to come up with. Because we all kind of sit together and kind of figure out something like, oh, this would be nice and this would be good. And, and um, you know, go through that process. And, awesome. Uh, it's uh, it's it's exciting to do that. If you never had the experience of recording in Nashville, I think it's a little bit different than recording probably in uh, in LA and Atlanta and people places like that. Nashville has its own way of recording things. Yeah, it certainly does. I haven't been there yet, but I'm really, really looking forward to going to check it out to see what it's like and visit some of these recording studios and meet some artists and hopefully do some stuff with them on, you know, either tap interviews or the artist process, which is my other show. I'd love to just film the process of how they go through a recording of a song or something like that. That would be awesome. Well, you you can go in there with an arrangement of what you have, or you can go in there with just a, a guitar a vocal arrangement and they will come up with something really terrific. And it's surprisingly because uh, they'll listen to it. They'll listen to what I have. And then they make notes on their charts. And then uh, we have a rundown. We record it one time. And, and sometimes it's just one or twice. And, they're, and we got it. it. It's that fast. I mean, it's not like you, you can spend weeks or days doing it you go through it you have to really be prepared as as an artist because you you lay down your scratch vocal as they're playing it and they go through it once or two passes they usually uh, add um a half hour give you a half hour for each song so there's but it takes about four or five days because you record it one day you come back and you do the va background vocals main vocals then you go back and do the mix down so you know each day is a process awesome well it's been excellent having you on the show to today john thank you very much for coming on and thank you to pepper as well for helping to organize it i appreciate well, thank it you. yeah i'm very thank happy you for you me. you're welcome and i'm very happy that your single my heart can't breathe is doing so well i really enjoyed playing the song today on this episode. It just Thank you for it doing sound, that. Yeah, it sounds better every time I listen to it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, you're welcome. So is there anything else that you wanted to share with the audience before we wrap up or? You know, uh, take a listen to the, uh, the other album, you know, listen to some of the songs that we have on there. You'll know it uh, by the goat on the picture. If you see a goat, that's our goat, Ozzy, that's the album cover. And mm -hmm. there are uh, 12 wonderful songs on there. If you get a chance, go listen to them. And I hope you Okay, we'll it. do. And obviously, if you, get it, if you like what you hear, uh, please purchase the album when it comes out. Right, John? Yeah, yeah. I like the past album. Yeah, or half album. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you can put you can put six songs in an album and our twelve songs. We're going to do the twelve another twelve song. Then we have songs ready for the next one. You know, so we're ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was awesome to have you today. Thank you very much, John, for coming on. Thank you, Pepper, for organizing once again. Thank you to Team Easy Way. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tap Interviews. Thank you to the people watching that watched it live, and thank you to the people that watch it later. Thank you very much, John. Anything else? Any final words? No, just thank you. Thank you so much for having us on the show. You're welcome. And uh, please keep in touch with John Michael Ferrari at johnmuckleferrari.com. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.